The following program is video supplemental instruction. VSI is brought to you by the Teaching Center, UF's Learning Support Center, www.teachingcenter.ufl.edu. Question number six wants us to calculate uh, the atomic mass of compound X. So it tells us that compound X has three isotopes. It says the first one, X28, has a mass of 27.9769 and that contributes 92.2 percent while X29 is 28.97 Six five, contributing four point six seven percent, and X thirty twenty nine point nine seven three seven, and that contributes three point one zero percent. So we want to find out what the total uh, atomic mass is for all of these. So the easiest way to do these is to convert these percentages to decimals. So what you do is you divide it by each of the percentages by 100. So this one's 0 0.922, 0 0.0467, and 0 0.0310. Once we do that, we can multiply them by their atomic mass units. So we do 27.9769, times 0 0.922 plus 28.9765 times 0 0.0467 plus 29.9737 times 0 0.0310. So, when we plug all of these numbers into our calculator, we get 28.07708 atomic mass units. But, your professor in this question is not teaching you just on your math skills. He wants to still test your knowledge of significant figures. Remember, these percentages only have three sig figs. 922, 467. So that means... Our answer can only have three sig figs also. So, this seven makes the zero round up to a one, so the real answer is 28.1 AMU. So, be very careful when you're doing a question like this, because yes, this is the right calculation, but your professor is looking for significant figures once again, giving you 28.1 atomic mass units. The Teaching Center, UF's Learning Support Center, www.teachingcenter.ufl.edu.